Bonyabiamina removed as student booth chief of staff. Unconfirmed reports claim that president has sacked his chief of staff, former Arab speaker Akim Olufemi Bajabiamila. It will be recalled that Bajabiamila's name has come up in a lot of controversies regarding pilferage within the humanitarian affairs ministry as well as sale of appointment in the presidency. The president and many top eight have tried to manage the various controversies and scandals that came out of them by denying the stories. They claim that the report were at the handwork of his enemies. Sources claim that the announcements are due to be made public in the next couple of hours. This is a developing story. Well, <laughs> you know, consign me. Ah, I swear to God, you know, consign me. You know, consign me at all. You know, consign us for this country. You know, consign us. They come out as chief of staff. Mm -hmm. They put and they. Mm -hmm. It is not our business at all. But Tunubu should know that he has been put as the president of Nigeria. His name will forever be as the, pre as the president of Nigeria. So anything that will make his name brighten, as in you make his name eh, sparkle in gold. If you want his name to be written in gold in the history of Nigeria as the man who actually walked. The man who came in when things were zero point. What am I saying? Wherever minus zero and make sure that things were actually going well. Uh -uh. His name is going to be written in gold. But if he does not, uh -huh. hey, any hey, hey, like Megan Dusha? How can Tenebu sack Baja when he's here to sack the young corrupt lady minister? Who is young corrupt? They don't come out that uh, this thing now. They have removed the, what's her name? A better Edu. They have removed her and I don't even think she's going to be coming into office. But you remember when I told the people that better Edu's removal? See, eh? a lot of people get hand for there. And even all those money where then they share, so she take. Mm -hmm. I can beat my chest to it that now money where they share. They just push that gear, come out. Or push that lady. They just push and come out. There are people who do worse than she does in, the, in, in their various ministries or parastatums. If true, it would be a good riddance to bad rubbish, as his name has really rang bell for all the negative reasons. That's what Nigerians are expecting from Turembo sense. That is not what to. I don't know about you people, but me, I'm expecting that if the price of uh, if petrol should go lower, the price of um, gas should go lower. That is what I'm expecting. How is something that they do? Oh, come here. Do Nigerian securities get enough helicopter? Talk. I'll be happy, very happy if it is true. He's such a bad person. Eh? Stop being enough of someone. I don't understand. That will definitely prove the seriousness of this administration. It will surely send the warning signal to some criminals in the government. But yes, if this story is actually true, it will prove that ah, these people, oh, they know they, they, really, they really lose guard for what they did. Until we hear from the horses, yes, so this particular news is this is a develop, developing story. The mantra, come to APC and your sins will be forgiven still hoods, but just a loyal ally, so no shaking. President Bola and Tunubu should do the needful where necessary because you cannot afford to fail this time around. The flying eagle should realize people below are watching. Yes, so. If it is true that Gwaja stole the monument for the poorest of the poor, the palliative men to cushion the hardship faced by the downtrodden, the Almajuris, that simply means he has sold this conscience to the devil. He should not only be dismissed, he should be persecuted and jailed. Objection, my lord. Nigeria, why are we on mistakes every day? Since he's a politician, he should be persecuted by a God-fearing judge. If guilty, he should be killed. <laughs> oh my goodness. He should be unalived by hanging to death. Objection, my lord. Nigeria, why are we on mistakes every day? Since he's a politician, he should be persecuted by a God-fearing judge. If guilty, he should be unalived by hanging to death. Or we should stone him to death. I'm talking of every politician that stole money, even the 1,000 naira from public office. Is that not rather too harsh? See, eh? my owners, each of them, the money they have taken, safe. 
the money that they have collected. I keep saying it at the end of the day, oh, and one house you go stay. It is one house, it is one room. Things that. Hmm. All right. God. Okay, good. The president should avoid the mistake of Buhari, who shielded his close officials and cronies, who at the end rub his government in mud. They are hungry, yet they still support criminality. Who do owner who have not seen anything like this? Their family lives abroad. School over there, you are busy fighting for someone who does not even care about you losing your future. Please be wise for us. At this point in time, you are telling somebody to please be wise. In this our Nigeria of today, that things are not going on fine. You are telling somebody to please be wise. Oh, okay, God, you don't need to... You don't need to say anything. You don't need to say please be wise. It is good to get rid of all the assumed criminals before they get rid of the president. <laughs> he will contest election tomorrow and his people will still vote for him. Yes, so. Is there any election in Nigeria? A selection. That is a cup of tea, at least. The blame will not be on the president but on the people who will vote him. He's supposed to be dismissed because there is many, there are so many allegations of correction against him. Okay, though I do not believe the news or story, but that would have been the ideal thing to be done. A man who left Christianity and joined Islam because of money and greed, such a man can do anything. Okay, Bajabia Miller was once upon a Christian. Okay. Okay. They are all the same. Why sack him if there is a better option? What is the better option? But does the president have the moral justification to sack any of his appointees for any sort of corrupt practices? I don't think he does. I don't believe he has, though, because he himself represents a monumental liar, forger, and manipulator. A greater number of those in his employ are like-minded comrades. They are compactable. I am of the view that the president must purge himself first of sickening corruption allegations so as to have justification of purging others. That is, if he's not in the feeling of sucking butter. He should be kicked out because he will be more dangerous than the historical Abba Kiyari. When a thief knows a thief, they have a bond. Nothing will happen. Why do you bloggers like spreading fake news? So we can't even say for, for real yet that this particular news is actually, whether it is true or not. So make everybody take a chill pill. Hmm? But the Bermila is a lesser of two evil. If he can be sacked, then others should be jailed. Eh, yeah, he's a lesser of two evil, okay? Seriously, the man is too corrupt. He needs to be suspended. Simply fake. Honestly, I ask myself every day if there's anybody who is clean on this region. My dear, the same question I ask myself will because the atrocities we would not see say these people don't commit in less than one year. <laughs> I'm scared of what they'll do in, if they stay there for two tunnels. Alright, so on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to the same. I'll come to the next time. Enjoy the rest.